Oh, okay. Today I'd like to have a review on Tensor. And Tensor is the powerful method for data analytics. And today I will have a review on this literature, Tensor Decompositions and Applications. It's a uh, uh, basic literature about Tensor that introduced the development of Tensor from, uh, from the over, uh, past 40 decades and some uh, basic definition and decomposition methods and some applications. It's a very base, basic literature and it may open a, a door for you to uh, get to know the tensor methods. And the contents will be included three parts. The tensor definition, the decomposition methods of tensor and their applications. Now let's begin with the tensor definition. So what is a tensor? In my view, tensor is basically a, a pool or, or a structure to define the data. As you can see, from the very beginning, we have a scalar, which is only a one data point. And for example, you can uh, view the, the, height of, the height of a people as a scalar, the weight of a people as a scalar. And in this way, it, the scalar is a tensor of order zero because there is no any other dimensions on this data. And when we enlarge the data along one dimension, we can get a vector, which, which is the tensor of order one. For example, if you stack multiple people's head in a row, or so we will get a vector, and it, it, is, it has one dim dimension. And and to take a step further, when we consider the demand two dimension, we will have a very familiar definition, the matrix, which we can see in linear algebra. And matrix can be regarded as a tensor of orders two. And for, for example, in a matrix, it has two dimension. And if you if this dimension uh, denotes the people, and this dimension denotes time, and this at each data point, we can regard it as this people at this time, what happens to him. And this is what, what can be uh, used with metrics to uh, describe a data. And then we come to the tensor. The tensor, actually, tensor is, ju is just a general definition of all the data structure, scalar, vector, matrix. But when the dimension is higher than three, we may usually uh, uh, regard it as a tensor. Uh, for example, this is a three-dimension tensor, which is the tensors of order three, and this is the specific definition of tensor, and this is an intuitive example. Now that we get to know the tensor, which is a very easy definition when you compare it to the normal linear algebra knowledge, then we will know how to describe a tensor. And in this review, we, we will uh, most focus on the tensor of higher order, uh, of higher order, because in this way we can introduce some uh, new definitions in linear algebra to describe a tensor. The first is fiber, which is higher order analog of matrix rows and currents. Because, because uh, for normal matrix, which is the uh, tensor of order two, we can locate each da data with its rows and currents. But for tensor of high order, what, what we can do to uh, locate the specific part of specific part of it, then we introduce fiber. A fiber is defined by fixing every index but one. For this, for example, uh, watch this. This is a tensor of order three, and we may the, the division of this tensor in this way is called the Moen fibers that division, and this is a one fiber which which will will be called current of this tensor, and as you can see, the dimension around its row varies, but the other two dimensions are fixed. This is why we, what we call a fiber is defined by fixing every index but one. And when we, when we divide a tensor in this way, we can get mode two fibers, which which is which is the whose the uh, dimension around this 
direction varies while this direction and this direction is fixed. And also we can have a mode 3 fibers. We call the, the direct each direction of this, uh, this in, in this way of a tube and this is a one tube uh, this, and in, for this fiber is dimension uh, along uh, varies along this, this direction while this direction and this direction is fixed. To take a step further, for the tanks of high order, we uh, no, we we will want to uh, divide a tensor in a higher dimension, and and slice can help us with this division. In a, the slice, in a slice divide tensor in two dimension. For example, for for this this is tensor of order three, and we can uh, cut cut it around cut the tensor around the uh, one dimension and let the other two dimension varies. So. A slice, a, sli a slice is two dimensional section of a tensor defined by fixing all but two index. As you can see, this, this, uh, the index around this di di dimension and this dimension varies, but uh, the index around this dimension is fixed. This is the horizontal slice, and this is called a lateral slice, which, which has similar. Uh, uh, definition and this is the frontal slice and this is the how the slice divide tensor in two dimension and there are some special tensors and one of them is rank one tensor which is an n way tensor that can be written as the outer product of n vectors in this formula and let's take an example this is a tensor of order 3 and it can be divided into the outer product of 3 vectors. And as you can see, uh, using the knowledge of basic linear algebra in matrix, the outer product of 2 vectors can, be, can produce a matrix. And when we uh, implement the outer product between a matrix and a vector, naturally we can get a tensor of order 3. This is the natural definition of this tensor. Now that we have known what the tensor is and some basic description of tensor, and now we, we may come to the decomposition methods, which tend to be the powerful methods to deal with data analytics uh, for the area of big data. And at the very beginning, we'll, we'll have the basic calculation procedure. The first is the matrization, also known as unfolding or flattening. This procedure is used to transform a tensor to a matrix. Specifically, mode n matrization of tensor is denoted as this Sn, and it arra arranges mode n fibers of x to the currents of resulting matrix. It is kind of abstract, so we will have an example to introduce. These are two metrics. When we stack these two metrics along this dimension, we have a tensor of order 3. So we this data can be regarded as a tensor which has three dimensions, 3 by 4 by 2, 3 by 4 by 2. So this is a tensor. When we do the mode 1 matrization, we, which means that we arrange the mode 1 fiber of tensor to the current of resulting matrix. This is its mode 1 tensor. No, no, sorry, mode 1 fiber. So we will uh, place this mode 1, fi mode 1 fiber in the currents, and then we will place this, this fiber in order around the, the row dimension. So this is the so the mode one fiber is this and can become the current of this uh, matrization and then we uh, place this along the 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 left the the, the, uh, the other dimension which is the row then we will get this matrix and also we have a mode two matrization which means that we arrange the mode 2 fiber to the current of the resulting matrix. 
So this is the mode mode two fiber, and we will place it in the current of the matrix. As you can see, this fiber is this current, and this fiber is this current, and this is in order placed in it. And at last, we have the mode three fiber, and also we can have a similar uh, usage of this uh, calculation procedure. We place the uh, fiber mode three fiber disks disks in the current of this matrix. So what we so what we do is to uh, place the specific fiber as the currents of the resulting matrix, and then each fiber will be placed along the other two dimension. Then we will come to the tensor multiplication for decomposed for decomposition uh, of the math of a tensor, the tensor multiplication is very crucial. So let's come to the, the detail of it. The first uh, multiplication of tensor is n mole product, which means the multiplication between higher order tensor and matrix. As you can see, this is a tensor and this is a matrix. This is the symbol to describe the n mole product. Xn means that the, the, this is an n mole product. And if, if n is equal to 1, it, it, it may tends to be the n mode 1, uh, 1 mode product. And it is calculated in this formula. And uh, so if some basic math manual, we can uh, see that this definition is actually can be used in this way. So the tensor and the, the product, the n mode product between a tensor and a matrix can be regarded as uh, can be uh, also described as a matrix multiplied with the n mode, n mode matrization of a tensor, and the result of them is the n mode matrization of a, the resulting tensor. Then we have a, a flex definition. That is the Kronecker product. In, in my view, it is a unlightable element-wise matrix product. Why we say that? Because when we uh, do the Kronecker product between two uh, matrix, the, then the then the first matrix will be the element-wise matrix matrix product with the other matrix because you can see that this is the each element of the matrix A and it will multiply with matrix B and each element of uh, each element of matrix A will be multiplied with matrix B so it is only it is just one side element wise. It is just element wise of matrix A, and it, it multiplies with the B with each with each element, and it can also uh, describe in this formula. And then we have a cultural cultural product, which in my view, is is the current wise Kronecker product between two matrices, because when we when when we do cultural raw product between two matrices, actually we will do the Kronecker product between each car each current of these two matrices. At last, we will have a head mod product, which is an element-wise matrix product, and it's it's very intuitive to see this formula. The the head mod head mod product between matrix A and B is only there. Uh, element multiply with each other and also noted A and B has the same size to do this uh, multiplication. Okay, after the introduction introduction of some basic calculation procedure, we can come to the decomposition methods. One of the most famous decomposition methods for tensor is the CP decomposition which is black a uh, tensor with the sum of rank one tensors. And if there are there are some uh, papers uh, propose the same uh, the decomposition methods in different names. This is all uh this all are the uh, the uh, general of uh, CP decomposition. And this is the uh, intu intuitive example of this decomposition methods. A tensor is break into several parts. Each part is the multiple, the outer product of rank one tensor, and we can expect this procedure in a neat formula, and we can also regard it in element element wise, 
and this the, the each uh, data point in this tensor can be regarded as the multiplication between different sensors and the sum of this multiplication and and in, in, in this way we can uh, break this tensor into multiple uh, sub vectors and for data analysis uh, the the relevant tensor can be regarded as some uh, exclusive information or the orth orthogonal information which which is very uh, uh, useful for data analytics to find the most uh, uh, strongest feature in the data. And, and also we should note that the rank of tensor is the smallest number of rank 1 tensors. And to de determine the rank of a specific tensor is NP-hard problem. So uh, how to uh, perform this decomposition in a, in a neat way is, uh, is not, is not uh, solved yet. And the rank, the rank of tensor determines the performance of this decomposition and the usage of this decomposition as well. Then we have uh, another form of decomposition which is also famous, it is, it is, it is proposed by a Tucker, so it's called Tucker decomposition. In this decomposition, a tensor is uh, factorized by uh, four parts. Uh, uh, the tensor of order three can be uh, decomposed in four parts. The, the factor matrix along row one, the factor matrix along row two, and factor matrix on row three. In addition, there's a core tensor, which which uh, represents the interaction between these three factor matrix. And there's some di there's some difference between the Tucker de decomposition between the CP decomposition because in Tucker decomposition there are so there are also a tensor left here, and that's called a core tensor, which which uh, tends to be a uh, uh, in interaction among this uh, sub uh, factor matrix, and it can be uh, represented in this formula. The core tensor mode n one mode product with a, and then get a new tensor, and then do the mode one product with b, and again get a new tensor, and then get do the mode mode three product with c, and this is the. Uh, Tucker decomposition. Also, the in element wise, it, it can uh, be represented in this formula. So let's come to the application. As we all know, the tensor can be regarded as a, a useful data structure because and the application of tensor decomposition may may come to how to uh, exploit this data structure to deal with some problem. As you can see, there are some examples of how to load, how to use tensor to uh, load some data. There's there's a tensor of uh, of word. The row is denotes different words. The current denote the, the 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 currents denote different words. The row de de denotes different topics, and the tube difference denotes different documents. So we can uh, uh, divide each element of this tensor as a probability of word J with topic I appear in the document K. So the so each, each prop, the occurrence of the word on different topics in different documents can be represented in a very clear form and a very and a very uh, compact form with with the tensor of order three. Again, we can come to a traffic state tensor, and this dimension is the row. And this dimension is the time period in one day, and along this dimension we can get we can uh, denote each day. So each element uh, of this tensor can be regarded as a traffic speed of row J in time period I of day K. So we can also uh, represent the traffic state on some spot in some time period in a very compact form. So with this uh, uh, useful and clear data structure, we, we may introduce some valuable prior for data analytics. Then we apply the, the, the tensor decomposition methods. We can deal with missing data uh, imputation, latent feature mi mining, 
which is very uh, important for, for big data analytics. Thank you for your attention. And we have, I have implemented the uh, basic uh, calculation procedure in tensor decomposition with TensorFlow and have shared it in this website. website. And welcome uh, everyone to, uh, to uh, feel, feel free to check it and welcome the discussion and opinions.